And joining me now is Ray Bramson, San Jose's Homelessness Response Manager, to discuss this further. Ray, thank you for being here. So we had a, a happy ending so far for Leonard Jackson, but many others are still waiting for homes. More than 4,000 homeless in San Jose. That's a lot of people. How many of them are on the street every night without shelter? So San Jose, like the rest of California, experiences a challenge that we have a lot of unsheltered people. So over 70% of our homeless population, about 2,800 people are living on our streets, along our creeks, and along our interstates. And is that because there aren't enough shelter beds in the city and county? Shelter beds are part of the challenge. The other issue is, you know, San Jose has a small urban core. We've got long stretches of creek to the east and west. There's a lot of places where people can get out of sight, find protected areas, and live outside. So then what are you doing about this? The city says it evicted about 300 people from the jungle. How many of them have you been able to place in housing? So we understand encampments are just a symptom of a much larger challenge, which is homelessness. And we've invested significantly over the past few years in finding housing solutions to get people inside. So from the jungle, we've now housed over 200 individuals who in different places throughout the community. And what kinds of places, what kinds of housing did you find for them? A wide variety of housing, everything we can in the market that we have. So some folks are living in shared housing, uh, sharing bedrooms. Other people have been able to locate apartments and secure jobs and increase their income. Uh, it's wherever we can find a safe, stable place for people to live. And is there any thought about perhaps maybe finding a place where people can park their cars or their RVs? Because so many people we found, especially in East San Jose, were just living out of their cars. Uh, absolutely. Just in San Jose, we have over 500 people in the last point in time count that we found living in their vehicles. So one of the solutions the city is looking at is trying to find safe parking lots where people can park, get connected to services, and then hopefully get hooked on to long-term housing and services. And how far along are you in that process? Have you, have you identified a site? You know, we've identified a partner and we're trying to work through some of the issues to create a pilot site. Other communities throughout California have been working on this and we think there's some promise. Help us understand who are the homeless in San Jose? What is there a typical profile? Yeah, there's no, there's no one face to homelessness. It's a wide variety of people. Uh, San Jose has over 30% of its homeless population, which are chronically homeless people, folks that have been on the street for a long time and have a severe mental or physical disability. But there's people with jobs, their families, their youth transitioning out of foster care, and there's veterans returning from wars. And so what are you doing to help them? What can you realistically do? Because the city has housing vouchers, but even those who have housing vouchers, 800 people currently are on the waiting list with vouchers with no place to go. Yeah, the reality is there just isn't enough housing. Uh, our vacancy rate for rental properties in San Jose is hovering just around 4%. People can't find units in the market. So what we need to do more than anything is build more affordable housing with the supportive services that are needed to keep those people stable and safe. Well, we hear that in so many cities throughout the Bay Area, right? We need to build more affordable housing. But what can you do currently? Because that's sort of a, more of a long-term thing. It takes time to make that happen. What can you do currently within the budget you have to more effectively serve the population? So last year, the city invested nearly $35 million in over 750 long-term and short-term housing opportunities. So we're looking at every tool we possibly can, rehabbing old hotels and motels, buying manufactured housing, which is assembled off-site, and then bringing it to an area, um, trying to find different bridge approaches to get people off the streets now so that we can build the long-term solution. And is that bridge approach effective? To, if you just give them a little bit of shelter, even if it's temporary, is that enough to get them on the path toward a long-term recovery and where they can be self-sufficient? Well, we need to make sure that that bridge housing that we provide has services and that there is light at the end of the tunnel for them. So we can't give them a place to go and say, you're not going to have a permanent home in our community. So we need to make sure that they have that destination in mind when we place them there. And just uh, real quickly, I want to point out that, that this week, the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors unanimous, unanimously agreed to place a bond measure on the November ballot that would raise $950 million for affordable housing. Will that be enough to address the problem? 
the measure by the Board of Supervisors was historic. $950 million for affordable housing, a lot of that dedicated specifically to homeless populations is one of the biggest steps our community has ever taken towards addressing this crisis head on. All right. Ray Bramson with San Jose's Housing Department, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you, Dwayne.